it's just so beautiful it's just so imaginative and it's so provocative and it just i mean every page and every little detail with regard to the designing of the language around this world even at the idea of you know um you know as you make yourself vanish in one spot and reappear in another you know it's disapparating and then apparating somewhere else it's just beautiful there's just kind of a poetry to it and a symmetry to everything that she and again it seems you read the stuff and it seemed really simple and like of course of course disapparate he's highly skilled he's incredibly well trained and and rather powerful not young wizard but a rather powerful wizard um, so kind of almost second in command to to Madam Pickery, President Pickery, who's played by Carmen. Um, so he's very high up in Makusa. He would be very well respected. In this film, he's very proactively chasing this mystery that is kind of running amok across New York City. This, we don't know what at the start of the film, whether it's a beast or a spirit or an entity or what it is. Um, and that's kind of his job is to, before there is chaos kind of set free totally in New York City and, and, and a war is, is kind of provoked between no mages and, and wizard kind, he wants to find this creature that's causing destruction and, and uh, put it to rest. Watching David work with all the actors and seeing how he digs and digs and digs to find the truth of the characters, but really does, and what the emotional and the psychological uh, experience or viewpoint of every particular character at every particular moment is. And so while the world is fantastical and while it is a world of magic and wizardry and, and um, a world of kind of the expansiveness of the imagination as a result of JK's work, it's also grounded in a reality that humanistically is very relevant. So